Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, I don't know, you know, welcome back, <laughs> how's it going guys man, ah, back at it again, look at that, uh, wait, wait, that's confusing, here we go, all the maps I've been making over the past week, Ever so often locked on, made more and more maps. <sighs> I'm getting tired of making maps, but we are, yeah, going, uh, coming along the finishing line or going towards the finishing line, I would say. 12 more cards to make. Those are the face cards and I have a plan for them. But for now, be happy to know we made them all. Beam here. All them, all them the cards. All them cards. You guys like the design, the classic card design. Here, boom, 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 spades, clubs, hearts. You know, you know it here. Random seven of heart. Mm-hmm. Looking great. And it was kind of a, a yeah annoying job. And then I also was starting to try around with adding lore to cards. You know, so the cards look like that. When you have them in the hand. Right, they have some lore info. Texas Gotham tech deck one. I was trying around with that. We have this function, the trigger function, and then you can format the names. And I've been using, you know, some of the symbols and stuff. And I think that looks pretty cool. And normally, you know, I have tooltips on. Let me quickly switch them off. F3H. It looks like that. Pretty clean. The only thing that is that it's the locked. I can't get rid of that. But I think that will be clear, right? Ace of Hearts, boop, Texas Gotham, deck one, and then we will have deck one and two. Let's turn two tips on again. So that is working like a charm and should look cool. Here I did, was that the Ace of Spades then? All right, same, right? Boom, Ace of Spades, and then has the info. When you pick it up, it says nicely Ace of Spades with the symbols in yellow. Nicely readable there. I think that is pretty cool. That's how we're going to run it in the end. Um, something like that. But it's also going to be a tedious process, man. I have to rename an item, hold it in my offhand, and then apply the trigger and so on. It's going to take some time. A good job for the upcoming streams, I would say. Yes, indeed. So now, you know, I've been here doing map art like for the whole week. Man, I had a crazy week, by the way. First of all, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Just a bit of stuffy nose, a bit of, you know, maybe you can hear it in my voice a little bit more raspy than usual. It's because we had like a temperature drop that was insane. It dropped like from 35 degrees Celsius to like 15. And I'm literally freezing my, my goat private parts off. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm sitting outside on the balcony contemplating what I should do. That threw my work rhythm off, kind of. But, um, yeah, not a big deal. I mean, yeah, I guess autumn is coming. Quite annoying. But then I did the most stupid thing ever this week. Like, oh, it's, it's like that happens when you're playing with your kids. You know, I, I was playing with Doki. And now comes a quick story everybody that is over six foot three can relate to. We have a certain technique of ducking when we approach a door frame, right? We smoothly walk towards the door frame and then we just go like, blip, you know, quickly duck through. Because normally, you know, while you're walking, there's a high chance you might bump your head walking through a door frame standard height if you're my size. And, you know, that's programmed into your system. You'll be like, bloop, ducking, duck, ducking, ducking, you know, it's like, it's like uh, natural to you. Well, not if you're playing with your kid and being super excited and I'm running under the door frame Doki shouts something at me. I turn around and they shoot a water pistol at me. I jump and, bro, I knocked myself out almost. Like I had, I went down on my knees and saw stars for like five seconds, completely ramming my head into the door frame from below. Bro, uh, like the whole one and a half days, I had to lay in bed and chill because I think I got, caught myself a serious concussion there. <laughs> So I had to lay low a little bit, feeling better now again. But bro, I barely, I almost knocked myself out, out rocking my head into a door frame. <laughs> yeah, what the heck, man? That was crazy. 
Um, I can't remember I ever did something that stupid, but yeah, uh, I survived. A <laughs> little bit of a headache still, but man, you know, that's the plight or the, the curse, I better say, of being tall. You know, all your tiny DCP members can rejoice now. Um, that will never happen to you. <laughs> Uh, talking about the DCP, obviously today we have a beautiful thumbnail piece by, of course, the one and only Yukon Er, or Yukon Bear, I guess, how they are recently called. <laughs> and they just made this beautiful, beautiful piece of me chilling out here in my swamp, in my happy place, where I'm really, really happy. And we will add another cool redstone contraption today. Ah, and do some creative stuff later, working on the maps. But ah, look at that. I'm chilling there with my tomato plants and all the little details, planning out the hourglass is there. And in the background, you can see, you know, the swamp littered with insane redstone madness. Ah, and <laughs> reading the Hermit Daily. It's just... <laughs> oh, and the, the little figurines on the table, you know, ah, it's, like, it's just like... Beautiful, beautiful work. I just love Yukon Er. Like, literally, they are amazing. Their fan art has been a delight, literally a delight for years. And yeah, every time I see they posted another piece, I get super excited and I'm always feeling honored when it's about me, your humble goat. <laughs> so, thank you, Yukon. You're the best. Much appreciated. And yeah, today we want to work on something we need that is related to the cards. Well, obviously, we have our shop right over at uh, Spawn, um, pretty much not built yet. <laughs> What is the shop going to be that's going to hide the, the secret poker then? Well, obviously, in true mafia spirit, we're going to build a laundry up there, you know. Kind of a little hint, money laundering down there in the poker pit. <laughs> and, um, well, another license we have from the permits, aside of all the rails, which we need to tackle soon now as well, we have dirt. And more enforcement is coming in. If you don't, uh, you know, build your shop for your permit, it, you might lose it if you have no, no, no good excuse. So I better get working on the dirt supply for our dirt farm we're gonna sell out of our laundromat. Yeah. I mean, sometimes the things you say when you make Hermitcraft videos. <laughs> Anyways, I found a really cool design by Encrypted. Um, super small channel with only 110 subscribers. The hive might is deep, though. Uh, and Encrypted took a design idea. Uh, Il Mango had a while back, uh, several years ago, we looked into this concept. It's pretty much using um, spruce trees and then creating pot soil, and then you push this pot soil out under a mo from that you created from moss and you blow it up. And moss you can create infinitely because, well, you can create stone and you can bone meal that and then you create moss, then you turn that moss into pot soil and then you blow up the pot soil and get dirt. And um, yeah, this design is really cool. Does about, I don't know, 30,000 dirt per hour and uses, uh, I don't know, what was it, like something like 6,000 bone meal, which would be perfect. We could hook that up to our yeah, stationary bone meal farm we have here. You know, that thing should make around 8,000. So, yeah, we can just, uh, you know, tap into that supply and run it over here and then run a dirt farm here as well, which also produces some spruce wood on the side, which probably will also come in handy. I already have the next idea what I could do with the spruce wood. I actually would like to have a torch factory, a small one. And I think the spruce wood that comes out of this could be enough to power the torch factory then eventually. It's like playing Factorio or Satisfactory in Minecraft, pretty much. It's like <laughs> this place here is getting more and more insane. Eventually this might be connected. <laughs> Anyways, I'd say I start here a little bit with the thing that makes me the most happy and uh, relaxes me the most. Building some more crazy uh, redstone contraptions out here in the swamp. I'll give you a progress report. Yeah, it's just the best, man. Chilling out here in the swamp and, um, you know, working away on some redstone machine. Ah, watching a show on the side. Did I tell you about the Dallas Cowboy cheerleader show I was watching? Oh, man. Don't watch it. <laughs> Waste of time. I get dragged into... Uh, it was coming out on Netflix. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways. 
Yeah, here we got a double-sided uh, smooth stone generator that will push from both sides, left and right, into a central column um, that will be turned into moss right here. And um, yeah, then around the corner here, o over this way, and then uh, we will have a blast chamber to break stuff. And I was just building the two control towers for uh, the leaf crushers because obviously right uh, we're planting spruce leaves here so it would be good if the farm would be actually capable of yeah producing enough saplings for you um, so you can run the farm without using other saplings although we have tons um, in our other tree farm setups like down there and there like tons of saplings but um, let's face it i don't want to um, use them here I want to have a machine that can work independently that's always a better choice um, you'll be sitting right here and then you just uh, be in a minecart going back and forth planting the tree and that's all you have to do and on the other side a lot of sand should come out so yeah it's a quick tip though for you in case uh, you know you check out the link in the video description and want to also uh, build this farm make sure <laughs> to build these towers first that's a good tip because they are used to power the leaf crushers all the way up and if you do it step by step updating things might uh, yeah really give you a hard time with the leaf crusher setup and yeah i'm gonna build that now and uh, then um, we should be close to first test runs here and um, this was a very smooth build so far um, really really cool i just love well thought through designs just amazing. The Dirt Farm by Encrypted. Ha, ah, I even added the sign. <laughs> yeah, 31,000 bone meal and about uh, 6,500 bone meal and yeah, 31,000 dirt. And now uh, is the time. Well, there's always this, yeah, anticipation, happiness and also a bit scared. <laughs> Testing something like that, uh, which is a little bit more complex. Although I have to say, this is, I would say, medium complexity setup. Nothing too crazy. I think that uh, should be a design anybody could build. It's nothing like, I don't know, the insane stuff we have down there, like the Hamter tree farm and so on. <laughs> but, you know, um, still something could go wrong. Let's turn that on. The minecart is already bobbing and weaving. Okay, we planted one tree and TNT is dropping, okay, that's what I always like to do with, with setups like that, first see, you know, plant one tree, see if everything, uh, something blows up or, so, or whatever, and alright, we pushed a bunch of stone out here, but there's also a little bit of dirt in the mix already, alright. Let's grow another tree here. The side where it's pushing has also worked. Yeah. Side where it's pushing worked again. And, ah yeah, we're seeing Potzel coming out here. Really nice. Okay, we had, had a conversion here. And now, yes, the Potzel is also pushed up here and should come through the slot and there. Okay, let's uh, plant a few more trees. And we also dropping tons of saplings leaf crushing also is working okay then uh, I would say we run this a little bit more just need to be in a good position here to auto plant Let's see yeah, roughly like that See, yeah, now we're in a good spot. Okay, and now let's see what's happening here. Okay, yeah, that's looking good, that's looking good. Machine is catching up. Now we had a little bit uh, from the starting up, a bit of stone in there. That one stone block there is not a problem. We can break that out later manually. Okay, but we're chopping chopping left and right with the good old you know offset TNT dropping here it's good yeah looking good we're planting nicely here yeah 
crushing works. Bone meal will be fed into here. I need to hook up some more stuff. But we can already see dirt is coming out of here. Yep, here comes the dirt. There's a little bit of cobble involved because here and there there's obviously some stone in this. But that's alright. We get a little bit of cobble here too. I'll store it. And um, that's it. Dirt is dropping. Okay. And yeah, here on from the side. Now our log stream is also doing its thing. It's coming in here and we're also getting some spruce log as a side product. Really nice. Yeah, because obviously we have to put out he uh, push out here a slice. So here the double piston extender comes in and pushes out the slice so we can plant newly. This is a bit of a, a side product. Um, but uh, still all right. I mean, you know, not complaining. And um, yeah, we also blasted up that one stone that was chilling there. And now we're also exploding wood. All right, this is looking mighty fine. Let's turn the auto placement off. And turn the whole farm off. And we're already looking good sapling wise. And um, yeah, the farm also refeeds bone meal, right? I mean, obviously there's moss generated and whatnot and stuff that grows on moss that that stuff is collected as good as possible here with these hopper mine carts and funneled in this array of composters down there and we have a little bit here a little bit of refeeding into the bone meal line which is um, always good saves up on a little bit of bone meal and um, if the farm spits out some bone meal we should reuse it right and here is pretty much the main input for bone meal and now I want to have a line going over here, hooking up right into there. This is the um, output line of our bone mill farm that sits up there. And at the moment it goes into the bone block maker here and we can just put a hopper below. We can either lock or unlock it. Um, when we run this farm, we unlock it and drain the bone mill to over here. And uh, that should be it. And lastly, here's the output of the farm. I want to hook up some shalker loader here or uh, some shalker loaders uh, we would need four i guess for the dirt as we make 32,000, right nine thousand per shalker loader so four roughly for the dirt and then we put one um for the yeah what we call it cobblestone and also one for the little bit of spruce that comes out and then you know we have a little side side gig here producing a little bit more wood and um, yeah, also decent amount of dirt. If came here for a while and then uh, we can stock our dirt shop forever and ever. Really cool. Yeah, okay, so now last step, embed the system into our uh, setup. Oh yeah, if I have a shulker box loader, would also be good if I maybe hook it up to our Schalke box production line, although it sucks a little bit that this thing sits higher in the moment, um, so it will be a bit tedious to hook it up to our Schalke box uh, production line we have going on. We hook this farm over there up to it, but uh, not this one here. So yeah, we'll see um, if I can somehow find a good way to do this, and um, yeah, see you in a bit. You know, when I look at this thing here, I wonder why I was mad that I was punished to play Skyblock. Technically, I'm playing Skyblock here. The whole shebang is kind of floating in midair anyways, right? And we made some nice extensions to it recently. And yeah, the latest one is this thing here, right? Our dirt farm. And it's fully integrated into our uh, yeah, machinery here. Here we got a supply line with bone meal coming in. And... Below, we got a supply line for Schalke boxes coming in. In case one is used up here, Boof gets automatically refilled by our system here, which probably soon needs some more oak and Schalke shells, actually, um, because right now we're running a lot of things of it by now. Yeah, this bad boy here, the snow farm, although we, I don't uh, anticipate super much usage, then, of course, the whole crazy wood array, Right, connected to the insane wood farm setups here. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, now a third one. And I think even up here I have something hooked up to it. So this system is, <laughs> is pumping Schalke boxes left and right. But yeah, 
Really fascinating to see this farm here in action as well. Here is kind of the heart of it, right? That mechanic when we have our stone that we push up from our stone generators here. Makes it into the area that can turn into moss. We're mossing down here. Um, here we got the moss blocks, the cedar moss blocks, so to speak. And then we have several dispensers. I'm hitting them with bone meal and uh, thus spreading the moss up here. Right, we, we bridge this this gap here um, from there to up there, still in reach. Yeah, and then um, right um, as soon as it is moss, then uh, we grow the trees uh, behind here, and that turns uh, the moss into the pots all, as you can see. A bit random, right? Partially bigger patches, smaller patches. Then we have a water flushing set up here, making sure we flush all the items out. We can use, pick them up with these hopper minecarts and refeed them into the bone meal generators, aka composters. And they're just running through here. And whatever is pot sold then, of course, just gets, yeah, pushed along. And there's some stone, obviously, in there in between, because not everything gets converted. That's how the cobblestone comes in place. And then we get this nice wall of um, pots all being pushed up here. And yeah, pushed over. It's a, a, a nice uh, setup here, by the way, using these walls, right? When something moves next to the walls, they connect and disconnect. And then you have observer uh, piston. And this way you have a decent conveyor belt here that's uh, really fast and pushing things along. Yeah, and uh, yeah, here in case you wanted unclock button, huh? what's that? So uh, there is a rare case where you could clock this farm if you turn it on and off in the wrong moment and do it several times in a row. There could be too much stone if you get really unlucky on top. Uh, too much stone could be stuck in the system here. And uh, I mean, that is just, yeah, something hard to avoid i mean technically it would be able to avoid, but it would make this farm more complicated so in case this happens but it happens super rarely just can press the unclock button and manually push some stuff out and um, there's three of them one two three pretty much this conveyor belt right you can unclock uh, in case there's too much stone in the mix and you get into push limit issues but uh yeah no problemo, never seen it happen in with hours and hours of testing this farm, but it's there in case you need it. Then this huge leaf crusher tower, also using an interesting technology here, right? I, uh, just water columns, I'm pretty sure you've so seen that there's a bucket in here. And when this triggers, it breaks the bubble column on and off. And then we have observers here all the way watching the bubble column. And uh, thus we can simultaneously trigger everything here nicely using the water columns as it is instantly turning bubbles on and off in here and you know then these bad boys um, just come out and crush the leaves and make sure we get enough and there we are down there <laughs> scooting back and forth so yeah friend is sing now for a little bit um, let's turn off periodic use let's turn it off the only thing is here when you want to get out some leaves grow in your face but that's not a problem and yeah, it's producing a ton of sticks too. If you're fond of sticks, uh, yep, yeah, let's throw that in here. And uh, yeah, if we come over here, here we have the sorting array. I pushed it down a little bit into the shulker loader here. And um, yeah, we can access that via the staircases, connected everything up. And now let's see. Ah, yeah. All right. Yep, we are already getting. Schalke boxes here with dirt. I have a suspicion that something might have fallen into this because I would assume this would have sp sped one out already as well. Oh, okay, there's already some spruce. Nothing else yet. We have it labeled up there. Let me quickly get some temporary blocks here. We need to check that real quick and see if there's something in this Schalke box. It looks suspicious. I would assume, you know, something that doesn't belong. And therefore it... Oh no. There she goes. No, no, no. You stay here. We want to investigate. Alright, let's toss some of the sticks away. What the hell? So many sticks. And, yep. One redstone bit in there. I was thinking, though. I was thinking this should have 
this was the first one in the sorter array and the others triggered already and is not that's always a good hint um you know bug fixing finding the redstone devils in your design and uh, yeah that obviously was one here so we got to take this dirt out uh, this redstone out and uh, let's see these sticks man what do i do with the sticks i mean i wanted to make a torch factory here i mean the sticks are here already <laughs> just have to pick them up all right so if we toss that here now yeah there was dirt backed up here obviously okay now that will load and then trigger and put a new shulker box there all good in the hood now nice 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 okay so redstoning is done for today that made my brain uh, pretty happy then i can uh, turn my attention to something i don't like that much you know i say i also like but not as much as just chilling and redstoning and that is yeah doing creative things <laughs> i don't like to do anything you know how it is but i prepared our canvas back there already yeah you can see there's a k because, yeah, we're doing face cards. I have a few designed, not all yet. But, um, yeah, we're gonna start with the King of Diamonds. And, well, it's quite obvious who that is, right? King Dog, the King of Diamonds. Obviously, let's make the map. Oh, baby, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. That looks good. Let's make sure we got the whole thing. And obviously, we have a crown. So, yeah, I had to make a good, uh, you know, decision. And I was looking at all the suggestions that came in. And it became very clear, you know, for map, uh, map designs here. And it became very clear with the small area we have to work with here. Um, it will be difficult to really make something, yeah, detailed, pretty much. It's just uh, the resolution is too small. So I opted for very clear and distinct cards now we're just gonna use our faces like this you can see doc and it looks nice in 3d ish uh, i like that uh, around the map and then you know put uh, heads on there like uh, to indicate what they are obviously a king right and i'm the king of diamonds that's very clear um if you wonder why that is so i mean yeah then you probably haven't watched a single episode this season <laughs> and um yeah with the help of you guys, it was suggested in the comment section, and I also thought about it myself. I made a list of different kings and queens and jacks uh, we're gonna use in this deck. So, obviously, the king of hearts, it has to be Ren. Ren is our king of hearts. That's very, very clear. You know, all the single ladies out there get in line. They love Ren. So, queen... It's obviously falsy. She's the queen of hearts and body parts, no doubt. And, you know, the little uh, B-dubs, you know, is the Jack, uh, because it was Ren's Jack uh, during the King's storyline. And, you know, we all love B-dubs. So, King of Hearts, uh, Jack of Hearts, also, it's nothing to do with his height or anything like that. And then, of course... <laughs> Here it was a bit more tricky. I mean, the spades, right? J Jack is the spoon. And this looks like a shovel. So obviously, Mumbo has to be the Jack of spades. Um, spades is, in my opinion, the coolest card, right? Ace of spades. Uh, you know, it's just an a, a epic song title by Motorhead, for example. And Ace of spades is always the coolest ace in my book. So that's why Etho is. The king and then we got uh, queen pearl i don't know why she got spades i thought about it long but i just thought it's fitting together with etho you know they're a great couple of spades and they have their spoon boy mumbo with them <laughs> and then last but not least no not really last but not least and then additionally of course king of diamonds right we saw that that's me and then we have gem Diamonds is a gem. 
therefore queen is gem of diamonds. And uh, Scar had a giant pile of ore mountains, so therefore, obviously, there, he has to be a jack too. I mean, pesky birds are unfortunately not in the game, but jacks are as close as it gets. So Scar is the jack of diamonds. Then we had clubs. Well, one thing that seemed obvious to me, as the club symbol looks like a bone a little bit in my book, the end of a femur or something, you know, bone. Cleo is the queen, zombie queen. And, you know, it's also she likes to club clubber me because I killed her pig. <laughs> I like to club a green nonstop, so he's the jack of, <laughs> of club. And X just has to be in there. X uh, is synonymous with Hermitcraft, so we cannot skip X. Unfortunately, that's it. I couldn't fit all Hermits. We have many others, and there would have been a great fit too. Um, but yeah, that's my, my choice now. Can't wait to make all of these. I have a few of them designed already. But um, yeah, now I think it's time to do something else. So Cup message us. There is some sort of do tournament going on. A maze race, beat, up, beat ups, I'm saying, Sizuma Void made this mini game. I haven't played it at all, and a uh, annoying cub, he practiced probably. <laughs> he said he wants to duel me, and there's some tournament going on. I don't know, maybe I'm teaming up with him. I, I didn't fully understand. Uh, it was just a quick message I got. Okay, let's see. I think, yeah, maze race is. Ah, there's cub. Let's unmute. Uh, yo. Oh, what's up, Doc? Hey, man. What's happening? I'm I'm confused. There's a tournament. What's the prize? Are There's we... a mace race turn. Oh, dude, what's the prize? Oh, come here, Doc. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. Check this out. Check this out. Look oh. at this. Kapow. <gasps> oh, dude, that almost brought tears to my eyes. It's a nice trophy, isn't it? On the pedestal and everything, it's got it, a little animation to it. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I want nothing more than this thing. Are you willing to risk it all for this, Doc? Risk it all? Oh my god, yeah. it's so cool. Man, I'm, you know, you and I, we're the purists in the group, right? We're always very skeptical if we want to add stuff to the, to the mod list of things on yep. the server. But, mm -hmm. dude, this trophy stuff, I just can't hate on it, man. It really is cool. Did you see ESO's frog trophy, man? Yeah, it looks... The frog trophy is really <sighs> nice as well. Yeah. yeah. But and this, this one, one, this one I think, hammer. is very... It's very, like, Minecrafty too, right? Oh, it's, it it's the, dude, there's literally only one per person on the whole server who deserves to have this that spent weeks of his life in the trial chambers trying to get the enchantments. Okay, so... <laughs> Is that you? Is that you? Uh, who else? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so how how does this game work? You practice, right? right? right you yeah, you're, yeah. you're you're you know what? Yeah. No. Okay. All right. So I tested the very first version of this, but it's changed now. I haven't been back since. All so right, all right, all right. I I know minimal stuff, but uh, basically it's a race to the end. There's mm -hmm. a special mace we use in these barrels. There's one mm -hmm. on that side as well. Mm -hmm. Has wind burst one, and then if we if we walk down here, doc. Windburst one. He he wasted windburst books. You know, I could steal these two mazes, combine them, and put them on mine to become <laughs> four. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that that's an option, I guess. But yeah, what? then you uh you critical hit these armor stands. Yeah. He's that he's decorated, and then you have to make it like to this ladder. Yeah. Yeah. After you hit the the windburst, and then you keep going through every level like that. Yeah. We want to do a pra we could do a practice run first. Yeah, we should. We the real thing. Yeah. Is that like, are we right, racing go. against each other or what? That's a, like... We're, yeah, it's a race. It's a race. Oh so I guess you, the, the end, I guess, is up there, maybe? I'm not sure. I think it goes no, we'll down and then we'll, we'll just go for a test test run, I guess. Yeah, let's test it. Let's test All it. Right, let's let's take the, the, the Wii camera and see. Yep, take off your uh, Elytra as well. I think that's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, that makes sense. Okay. Maze. All right, so you go up that side. I'll go up this side. All right. I think we got to click the note block at the same time. So you want to count us in, Doc? Yeah. Three, two, one, click. Oh, I clicked. Did you click? Oh, there we go. Oh. All right, here we go. Countdown. All right, and then we go. 
Okay. Are we allowed to use wind uh, charges, by the way? No wind charges, no. And, and can we? Can you jump from here? Like where? Like, do you have to stay in bounds? Or yeah, up I think from you have to here? jump. I think it's from these, like the highest one of these. Mm -hmm. So you jump off. Mm. Hit it. Well, that's that's not gonna go too great. Yeah, we practice. We practice here. We got this. Wait. Wow, it doesn't trigger at all. I tried to. Really? Oh, there, there you go. go. Okay, this yeah, you get it. You get this it. this will be tough already. I don't know if it affects like from your ah. uh, your ping. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, the, also the maze bro breaks. <laughs> we got to. Yeah, it doesn't have, have it. doesn't have men does it have many. Oh, he does have many, but yeah, he's been using these a few times. All right. Oh, oh I whiffed. Oh. Severe whiffage. You gotta have the fall height, like you. Hit. I di I do hit, but I don't get the get the boost. Here we go. Ah. There you go. You're getting it. You're getting it. You're getting it. Mm -hmm. Back to this one again. This one's, this one's tougher. Yep. Oh. Ah, whiffed. Come on. Oh, what are we supposed to do? What's why is there a spinning thing on the side? How did he do the turning? There's a spinning. That's interesting. There's a what? No what? Like is this an item that broke or what? Oh yeah. Something. Oh yeah, you don't don't uh, don't spam click. Yeah, also. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, that can happen. That can break. Oh oh I oh broke. it might have busted. Oh we broke it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, there's one here. I'll put this one back here. Uh, uh. Okay, no spamming. There we go. Good to know. Yeah, no spamming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's critical. I was trying. I was trying if it is better if you spam, but I guess not. Oh, and now it's like... Uh, okay, I think he had them locked or something. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Broke it again. It's the second time. <laughs> nice. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> we might have. We might have. Um. Well. We might, well. Yeah, these two. Uh, I always whiff the second one here. Though. I mean, we can, can at least maybe side, finish too. our test run, then let Suzuma know if he can briefly fix it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's mean, all I got idea. Uh, fall height. That's something. People will be like watching, be like, oh my god, they suck so hard. <laughs> Believe me, it's not so easy. Hey. All right. And then down here? No. Wait, what's happening? Okay, I now made it up here. So now you jump uh I think you jump down now. And then Oh no, you hit the you hit the armor stand in the middle there. Hit the, hit the armor stand. In the oh, this one here. Uh, that guy. This ah, in midair. All right. Yep. And I think you go forward, you press forward until you hit the Wow, that's also tough. Yeah, uh. but, ooh, makes it. He makes it. What is this? Uh, a double hit or what? This is a climber. So you hit the yeah. bottom one, then you, hit, then the top one. All right. Okay, that's crazy. Didn't know that this was a thing. <laughs> Climber and then Oh what? maybe Doc, maybe you take your pickaxe off your hand? Your offhand? Maybe that's affecting it. Maybe it's trying to put the pickaxe on the armor stand or something. Oh. Try, maybe. try that. Yeah. Oh finally. Okay, right, now you need to drop. do yeah. like a Multi jump thing or what? Oh, is it? It hit yeah. you. Hit your head. Yeah, so you have to swing <laughs> a little quicker this time. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh God. Yeah, 
let's go. Wow, that's also brutal. What is this he now? I, it continues? Oh my so this, god, who would <laughs> torture other hermits one. like this? How do you even, where do you, what? So you go, you go on the side, mm -hmm. and then around. You might have to hit it twice. But you go like, on the side like that, kind of <laughs> thing. Okay. Since he had to test all these. Oh! oh. Close. Close one, very close one. Hmm. Hey. Yay, let's go. All right, and then climbing up here. <laughs> Yeah, so you go from side to side here. here. Uh, where? Oh, <laughs> okay. It's also, it's all rhythm. Hit, 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 over! Yay! Let's go! Safe exit. It changes the world. Oh my god. It changes the world. Well, it's so. definitely tough. It's hard. <laughs> if it would have raised, you would have kicked my butt. Like, yep. Yep. seriously. Thank God it's broken and I can practice. <laughs> <laughs> we can come back another day. You can practice a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I need to practice for sure. I haven't yeah, yeah. had time at all to play much with the maze. <laughs> like, I was so busy and occupied finding the stupid enchantments that I didn't even have time to really practice with it. But Dude, so... What, yeah. what enchantments did you get? You said you spent a lot of time. Are we talking like... We, you said you spent weeks in there, right? Yeah, the Windburst 2 I got on there now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Are you looking for another Windburst? Yeah. You need another Windburst. Yeah. I can I think... make a deal with you, man. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got a Windburst. I got a Windburst. One? Uh, multiple, actually. Multiple? Uh, I, think I, got, I think I got like a two. I might have a three. I, don't, I forget what... what uh, I mean, I just needed two. Yeah, let's go see what we got. Let's go see what we got. I'm going to break this. Quickly. Wait, what? Let's go see. <laughs> All Come right. Come to my base, Doc. Come to my base. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, yeah. Wait. Windburst three, maybe? But Cup sounded so shady. I still believe he's the horse snatcher, but I might sell my soul for no, Windburst. No, no horse snatcher. Come on, <laughs> Come this way. <laughs> Dang it, you hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. Uh, let me see if I have it. Where uh, did you get it density. from? You you want to tell me you were so lucky you went like to five things and you got like ten books? No, no. I've, dude, I've gone to like... Oh, man. How many have I gone to? I've gone to so many, dude. All right. Uh, let's do. I've let's do. Let's least, do some. At least a dozen or so. Okay. Let's do some stat poker. Okay. Let's, oh, here it is. Okay. Ominous vault key. Ominous trial key. I got eighty-four used. All right. A hundred and two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. uh, dude, see, Cap is silently grind, grinding away as usual. You've also <laughs> unlocked quite a bunch. And how many books did dude, you get in total? This, th this is this is why. Have you seen this? Have what? you seen this launcher? I know, I know you have one that's, I think, like a mega super launcher, but this is another... No, no, I, dude, dude, I literally built it. I watched your episode, and I immediately built it at my base. Oh, where, where is this? Yeah, yeah. Did you hear? Yeah, I immediately built it at my base. It's really cool. Yeah. It's my emergency way up now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. super cool. It's great. I had a similar design, but the uh, composter setup is perfect. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives an uh, epic boost. Okay, so how many yep. books did you get? You had 84 or something vaults open, yeah, which I is have, also a lot. I have a yeah. Windburst uh, 3 thing. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I have any more here. I an extra 31 keys just waiting in there. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Uh, do you keep the chamber map stock? Do you, are you a... No. So you can go back to get the wind charges or no? No. No? Okay. I have a wind charge farm, pretty much. Uh, so for the wind charges, I'm good. Gotcha. It's just All set right. up, you know, uh, build out a little bit of a trial chamber, but nothing too fancy. But, uh, you know, with, when you loot them, I mean, they drop a lot. 
Yeah, so I got a Windburst 1. Uh, I got a Breach 3. Yeah, uh, all the others are, I mean, only Windburst would be interesting. Don't tell me you have one. Then I'm cursed to go back to the trial chambers and look for Density, one more. Density, I thought I had a Windburst 2. Breach 2. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna complain. Mending. But, no. Now I'm cursed. I have to go again. Yeah, it's just a 1, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. no. Dang. I have to I go again. I could it was 2. Maybe I put it on, because I already have a Windburst 3 on my... It's definitely nice. worth it going for level three, right? I was just trying yeah, to cope yeah. myself into believing it's not worth it, but you want it. Level right? three isn't like an insane boost. Like the ones we were just using as level one. Yeah. Which is like nothing. So you Although won. I have to say, mm. the wind burst three is almost like too high. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I'm sure, you know, I got level two on it now, and it, it felt pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, w I would go for level three. I mean,. But yeah, it looks like I only have the one. Hmm. All right. So. Fortune, efficiency. I could have sworn I had another one. I don't know what happened to it, though. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. It depends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So, so deals. I mean. <laughs> Deal? You want some, you want some, some deals? Okay. Hmm. Um, Hmm, this might be bad with the stupid book, man. Uh, <laughs> so you've been to 102. Yeah. And you've gotten just the Windburst, one Windburst 2 or two Windburst 1s? Two. two wind, there is okay. only Windburst 1 in there. Okay. Mm, and I found two. Oh, you, can, you, can get, you can get density and stuff and breach. But yeah, that's no problem that you can get from villages. Yeah, you can get those through the enchantment table and stuff. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Enchantment yeah, table, Yeah, so you're looking villages. for the Windburst... I mean, are you interested in the Windburst one? Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, it would curse me to go to look for more. Now, I was kind of happy with my, you know, level two hammer. But now, it, if there's a chance, I need to find one more book. Like, two felt just too brutal. I didn't want to go through a yeah, hundred yeah, okay. again. Right, but right. one, I could get lucky. You know, I feel that gambling, man. And, oh, man, I, you know, I probably work too much on the poker cards here. Check him out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me see. King of Diamonds. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. <laughs> that looks really good, yeah. Yeah. You got those for every hermit, like different different cards. Yeah, yeah. That'll be sweet. Are you doing a poker tournament soon? Soon, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm about done with the cards. I have one more week, I think. And then technically it would work. It just needs some more decoration then and stuff. And I guess for the first tournament you want things to look a bit snazzy. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what, Doc. I'm going to mm -hmm. give you this book. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you this book. I want to be a featured guest, though, at the poker table. Wait, that's your buy-in? That's the buy-in. All right. Good. We got eight slots. So one, we have one guaranteed. I know Skiz okay. wants in. You know. Yeah, dude, Skiz is like a pro player, dude. I saw him in Vegas. Yeah. He was playing poker in Vegas. Oh, yeah. man. Look out. Dude, Look I out. can't believe this. Thank you so much, Cub. I'm kind yeah, of thankful yeah. to you, but also I want to, like... Oh my god, now I have to go back to the trial chambers and find another one. Why? Back I thought I had shaken this curse. Oh, <laughs> back to the dungeon, man. Well, Doc, let me tell you, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more chambers myself. I need to get yeah. a lot more wind charges. So All right. if I find one, I'll let you know. All right, yeah, know. if you find a book, uh, please. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, po poker you know. tournament guaranteed spot. It means Let's what go. do we have, like... Okay, technically it's you, in, me, and Skiz. Then we have mm -hmm. three, five more spots open. I need to go around and um, get hermits in so we can steal their money. Uh, <laughs> yeah. have, have some fun. <laughs> yeah, it will be good. It will be fun, man. All right, All right know, man. And, uh, okay, yeah, let, let it was know. well worth, uh, you know, uh, torturing myself through the stupid parkour thing. To get yeah, a book. if you want to do, do a proper race, let me know. And uh, yeah, 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 we got the hollow at Zuma to what is Cleo doing? Okay, we got the hollow at Zuma to fix it. I yeah, we do. Yeah, that's right. killed we'll it again. Start. But yeah, then um, we'll let's do a race. Although I think the winner might be already. Yeah, you might surprise <laughs> yourself, Doc. You never know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you. Thank you, man. See you, man. Oh my God! I can't believe it. We got another no, <laughs> yes, no, yeah. I don't know if I should be happy or sad. Maybe, 
Maybe we can fall back to the old tactics of just going around on the Hermitcraft server, whine enough, and eventually another hermit will have a book and give it to us. I don't want to go back. I really don't want to go back. But man, the race was also fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, I broke the start of it and we have no idea how to fix it. It was not locking them. They just, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> let's head back to the swamp. Although it seems here and there it could be worse coming out of here. Man, I don't know if Cup really... But I, I'm not sure, you know. What if he's the ore snatcher? I will have to destroy him. But he's such a nice guy. He gave me the book. Oh my god. Oh, he's playing mind games again, isn't he? Oh, look. I made myself a gem. <laughs> ah, the Queen of Diamonds. Ah, let's do a quick flyabout. And there you can also see the cues, right, for the Queen. And I think Gem looks particularly great. Gem is great, we all know. But yeah, there, I think that that map art turned out really awesome. Oh man, I'm actually having fun doing this now. <laughs> Uh, oh man, uh, yeah, let's let's lock this in and uh, name it. Let's see. Look at that. I also put a check mark there. So we got that. Next is, I guess, Scar. Who's on right now? Maybe I'll hang out with him a little bit and chat. It's our morning sessions always. <laughs> okay, let's lock her. Boom. And that is the... QD for now. Queen of Diamonds. Cool, man. Where's our other face card we made? Here's the King of Diamonds. Us. Let's look at them both. Ah, nice. Suited connectors. <laughs> I mean, not the best poker hand you can get, but I'll take it. It is a decent poker hand. <laughs> Looking nice. Look at that. I think that's... Uh, yeah, it's uh, really getting along. I'll hammer that out. I'm motivated uh, to finish finish that quickly. Wait, we have 10. Nah, 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 nah. So you go here. You go here. No, we just the check is only missing. Yeah, Jack and then boom. We put the other ones from this side. Cool, man. All right, so yeah, I'll uh, slowly but surely chip away on those. Maybe uh, I can show you nice progress already when we start the next episode. Um, yes, these cards are coming along great. I added a small little bit here just uh, this morning because I got annoyed with all the sticks we got from the dirt farm. And that was something that was missing here for a while. A simple trash can. It's like, you know, and it's always good to use... Uh, like trapped chests for that because as long as I'm in the inventory here, right, stuff doesn't get uh, sucked out and that is uh, actually a pretty good thing for a trash can, I would say. It was very simple to do, right? A uh, trash can just locks the, uh, or locks this hopper here um, and then, you know, we just have a dropper, a cauldron with lava and then we just detect if something is in there. It'll dispense it into the lava and uh, that rather quickly. So, you know. Done. You know, just for some stuff we want to burn. It's always good to have a trash can. I put it over here as well, just to be sure. It's called Mülleimer in German, by the way. Trash can. Uh, you know, far away from whatever I want to smelt and put into storage or whatever. And um, hopefully uh, that'll make sure I don't toss anything in there unintentionally. I was <laughs> even thinking I should put an Armist named Armistead in there saying, attention, this is a trash can. Uh, but yeah, it's it's kind of away from anything that, uh, uh, yeah, it's, nothing should happen. Uh, yeah, famous last words. I'm going to burn my hammer in that thing eventually. But you need a trash can, man. <laughs> it's just what it is. And yeah, with that said... I think we should wrap up the episode today. And as usual, we're going to do it with the comment of the week from last episode. And it was by Ignore2466. They say, hey, you could sell the cards, request a permit. 
um, add a killing chamber to the casino game as a security office to prevent card smuggling. Use custom poker chips so no one has real diamonds inside. Just potential bonus activities for the project. Yes, really good suggestions. That's what I just love, man. You guys, I just still love to read the comments. What can I say? You guys come up with such great ideas all the time. And I really think, yes, I should request a card permit. Maybe, you know, when uh, Vintage Beef makes some pro progress with TCG, there's a potential shop thing. And I could actually sell his TCG cards if he doesn't have to. I'm going to request a uh, like card permit. You know, I can sell cards on the server. So, man, that would be crazy. <laughs> uh, okay so yeah definitely it's a great idea you guys are always so smart you know we're gonna make the cards in real life i'm hoping to get a uh, catch uh, luke these days uh, i was trying to hollow at him and um, then we're also gonna send him on the hermitcrafts over here perfect then add a killing chamber to the casino uh, floor pretty much as an in and out i'm thinking that's pretty smart that's pretty smart You know, so because hermits, you know, if we sell the deck, hermits might try to smuggle them in, try to cheat. <laughs> uh, you got to be careful. So maybe that's a pretty decent idea. You, you, you know, to get in, you, you got to kill yourself or something. Maybe we can come up with a, with a nice system there. That would probably be funny. Yeah, and then it clears your inventory and all. And you can't take anything inside into the casino. But, you know, I want to give people access. Uh, here comes the next point, right? Use custom poker chips so no real diamonds inside. Well, technically, I want Hermes to bring as many real diamonds as possible. So there's a high chance, you know, you might get some big wins. And uh, I was thinking about this whole thing using poker chips. And I'm just thinking we're going to use diamonds and diamond blocks. Like it's a real cash game, you know? <laughs> If you come, bring your diamond reserves. And then we have two, two yeah, denominations, like diamond and diamond block. You know, and that's also easy to see if you want to bet, right? Everybody knows, okay, boom, six diamond blocks, this, that, right? So, yeah, we need to... Th I was thinking of a funny secret entrance. We'll find something uh, for sure. And maybe it's a killing chamber, but I think I want to use normal diamonds. You know, I mean, we want to get that money, right? So... <laughs> Let me know what you think about that. Um, and uh, yeah, with that said, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I know you're back in school. Hopefully you find some time to watch. Come join the stream tomorrow, Saturdays always. Check the links out in the video description for my Twitch channel. Bye!